guys i hope you're all having a great day so i'm about to send out this box full of sunny days goodies to louise who is um snail mail crafts on instagram i'm gonna link everything um her instagram down below and you guys should definitely check her out she's amazing and she reached out to me like a really long time ago and asked to swap and this year whenever i had some openings for some new pen pals i made sure to message her back and let her know that i was ready to swap with her so she had been so so patient which is just so sweet and kind i'm really glad that i was able to swap with her so everything in this box is what i'm going to be sending since this is going international you will notice like this box isn't anything super big but um, i was able to fit a lot of stuff in here so i'm just going to be packaging this up as well as showing you guys what is in here and i'm not going to be too big on packaging just because um, I want everything to actually fit in here and there are quite a few things in here so I'm going to try to take it easy and not be so bulky but yeah I just figured I would take you guys along on that journey so that you can see everything that I'm sending her way um, you will notice a few things in this um, this box I already have a tutorial slash project share on so this flip book right here I'm not going to go I'm not going to open it up because I have a video where I make this flipbook as well as just share it with you. So I'm going to link that down below if you want to watch one of those. Um, and then everything else is in the project share video and then the little paper clips that you'll see here are, um, I have a tutorial on those as well which I will link in the description. So yeah, um, I think I covered all of the bases here and if I did not just leave a question if you have one in the comments and I will get back to you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching how I package this up. So to start off, I am going to package up this little banner piece that I made and to do that I'm just using a little vellum envelope. You can definitely make these with the envelope punch board but I just had some on hand from this package that I got from Tuesday morning. So I just took one of the ones that were in that package out and I was just looking for a paper to kind of back the banner on so that way you would be able to um, see everything like the paper on the inside and that way it wouldn't be like moving around too much. I could actually put some um, adhesive on the back of the banner so that way it would stay intact throughout the shipping. So I just used, I think I just used like two or three pieces of foam tape so that way you can easily peel it off and then reuse it if you want to so I just put that on a piece of um, the paper from the 6x8 paper pad and then I'm adding it into the envelope and I did go through my stash and look for some sequins that I thought would look cute in here just so that way there was kind of an interactive element where you could shake around the envelope and she can even you reuse some of the sequins that I put in there so to keep this shut and everything um, to make sure the sequins don't fall out I'm just using some washi tape but usually I use like a sticker or something on the bottom but I just had some washi tape near me so that's why I ended up using that and yeah so that first this one is done very simple and very easy to do now I'm packaging up two of these little embellishments that I made I made these using um, the larger pieces of ephemera from the sunny days um, die cuts and to keep them together and in place I'm just tying them with ribbon which the ribbon did move around so before I said it I actually changed it and instead of doing a bow in the front I did the bow in the back so that way I looped it around both sides so that way they would stay together and then I just slid it into one of these gold bags that I got from Hobby Lobby they sell these around Christmas time and I always pick up a bunch of them because I use them all year round they are so fun and so glittery and normally when I use them, I just keep them plain. I don't put anything on top just because um, it's a really um, see-through kind of fabric material. So I don't want any glue to seep through and mess up what's on the inside. And that way they are easily, easily reusable. So now I'm moving on to these rosettes. And I already had this little vellum glassine bag that I think was sent to me by Maddie. So I just slid the rosettes in there. Um, I put them on a piece of paper. And that one was really simple. And then I already had packaged up the um, acetate embellishments as well as the paper clips just because I had a um, the packaging left over from the ephemera from the sunny days. So all I did was just add some paper on the back and then slide those into the bags that were already made. And you can see I pulled out a couple different bags and was trying to fit this um, little gift for my pen pal in there, but none of them were working. So I I'm using this one that's kind of Valentine's Day, but um, I don't really think it's that noticeable. I mean, I feel like hearts can be used year round, so I'm just going through my chipboard, and you will notice I use a lot of chipboard on this, but I was 
really in the mood to use up all of my chipboard because the sunny days chipboard I only had a few pieces left on there so I was thinking like well maybe I should just go ahead and use them all up so that way I hate having only a few pieces left because I tend to overlook it whenever I'm using it for projects so I used quite a few up on this package here and then I used the rest of them on I think the next one. So I found a doily in my stash that kind of matched the color scheme of this so I just glued that on and then I hot glued the doily onto the actual bag just so that way it would stay in place. I'm always really worried about things, especially packaging getting messed up in the mail. Um, especially when it's going international because I know that it goes through a lot more um, transit locations and things like that so I just try to make sure everything is um, really well glued on and um, yeah so now I'm moving on to my next one which I'm gifting her this little sunny day sticker book um, so that way she can have a piece of the collection so now I'm going through the little project pad and there's some 12 by 12 papers in here so I'm just trying to find one that I think matches the other packaging um, whenever I do packaging I try to make everything match like the packages or the box not not necessarily the what's inside of the package if that makes sense even though in this occasion it did because it was sunny days but yeah sometimes I just try to make the packaging look cute and have like a certain theme for that even if what's on the inside doesn't necessarily fit into that theme I just think it's fun to work with different things that I have in my stash and not always limit myself so yeah that's why i'm just using this 12 by 12 piece of paper trying to make everything match and look cute and i go back into my chipboard and the doily again i really just don't use doilies as often as i should in like everyday projects so i feel like whenever i'm packaging things up it's a good opportunity to use some of the ones that i have so i'm just using this one which is pretty large but it's actually the perfect fit for this package and now i'm using the here and there collection chipboard which i feel like goes perfectly with a sunny days collection I think it's so cute and a lot of the colors are very similar so once again I'm just going into my little scrap folder and making a banner piece and just layering up a bunch of chipboard um, like I said I really wanted to use up what I had left on the sunny days one and I'm using this gold ribbon, which I think I already mentioned in my last video but I get this um, ribbon from Dollar Tree and they also have this around holiday time, so I'll usually pick up two or three little um, containers of it. I just think it's so pretty. And um, it's very opaque. It's not like most gold ribbon where it's very sheer. It's very opaque. So I like using it in my projects. I love anything gold, especially with pink. So um, yeah, so I'm just layering that together. I use a staple to hold it and then just use some double-sided tape to make sure that the ribbon would stay in place. Now I'm using some hot glue on that chipboard and then I go back to the Sunny Days chipboard because, like I said, we want to use that stuff up so that way it's not taking up a ton of room in our stash when it doesn't need to be. And I've even seen people, like I've seen Rachel from Paper Ventures, she actually keeps the... Um, what is it called the white pieces of the the inverse of the chipboards and she cuts into it and uses it instead of like double-sided tape or foam and I've done that before too and I think it's so fun it adds like a really nice weight to your projects whenever you're trying to do dimension on them so that's also a good idea if you feel like keeping and holding on to your chipboard once you're done with it so that's what that one looks like and I did off camera just go in and add a few little enamel dots and gems but that's normally a pretty boring process because I use hot glue on all my gems and enamel dots because like I said I want to make sure everything stays on so it's pretty lengthy process of like putting little dots of hot glue everywhere and then adding the um, enamel dots on top so I just cut that out but yeah nothing new really you probably seen that before and now I'm doing my last little package for her, which is this um, set of Dear Lizzie puffy stickers. She mentioned to me that she really wanted some 
American Crafts because it's hard to find where she's at. I don't want to give too much away because I think this video will probably go up before she gets the mail because it's international so I'm gonna try like not to give any more hints so that way she knows it's that that way she doesn't know it's for her I know she watches my videos so um sorry if that did give it away but yeah I just wanted to make sure that there was lots of different goodies for her and it wasn't limited to just like sunny days collection I want it to be multiple different things so I that's why I have this uh, Dear Lizzie stickers in here because I know that she will like them and now I'm just going back into the chipboard um, I don't have any more of the sunny days at this point so I'm just going with the here and there collection which is um, surprising that I found so many things that match but that's also why I did the um, the black and white paper just because I didn't want to have like different pinks or different blues on there too much so I went with black and white because I knew that some of the chipboard would match so now I'm just going to the ephemera and I found this really big piece that also is black and white so I'm just putting that behind this chipboard tag and the sentiment and I guess yeah so I think I use both of them and I just staple them together Yep, I do that a lot with bigger ephemera because um, I have trouble using up big ephemera. So whenever I'm doing like bigger projects, like like large packages and stuff like that, I always try to reach for it because I know I won't use it on like flip books and tag flips and stuff just because it is so large. So that's why I was reaching in in there, and now I'm just adding some trim on the top. This trim was actually gifted to me from Kayla. She gifted to, this to me in our Advent Christmas swap so I love using it it's like this iridescent pink trim I'm pretty sure it's from Hobby Lobby I've never seen it there before but I know that the brand that it is is normally carried there so I was happy that that matched and I thought it looked so cute on the top and once again just going in with some little enamel dots and um, gems and stuff like that and yeah that's how this one turned out um really cute I didn't use a doily on this one guess I wanted to switch it up which is good and that is the last package I believe so I know that decorating packaging isn't everybody's thing but I hope that if you normally do then you've gotten some inspiration and some ideas and yeah I'll be back to show you guys how I put this all together in the box all right guys so I am back after having decorated all of the packages um, once you see this it will be the packaging will have been a really sped up process this normally takes me like a good hour and a half to do um, but I normally do it in one sitting and have kind of some ideas going so now I'm just going to put it in the box and I will say the only thing that I did not show on that video was this right here which this is a flat mail pocket that I made using the Felicity Jane collection I have a video for this on my channel so uh, I will link that in the description box as well so if you guys want to watch that you can and then I got this little pouch from Dollar Tree and it originally had like holes on the side and it's one of those that you like stick into a binder so I just cut the holes off the side and you can't really even tell um, that there were holes and then I just slid, slid this flat mail folder in there and then um, there was a little bit of extra room on the bottom so I just folded it. So I've had that in here for a while because I knew that I wanted to give that to her and then <clears throat> I forgot to show me decorating the memory decks card because I had it underneath this in the box so I did that off camera but it was really simple probably the most simple one that I did just with some chipboard from the here and there collection and then a sticker from the sunny days stick sticker sheet and then a few hearts so yeah so now i'm just going to start putting everything inside the box and i'm going to start with this one because it is the longest and that fits at the bottom actually i'm going to add some tissue paper and some shred really quick i have some pink and some blue so i think i'll do pink on top and then maybe blue on the bottom I'm really hoping that I have enough room for everything. I think I'm going to wait to add the shred until I get everything in there, just so that way I can make sure that I have enough room. I do have another box picked out, though, if um, it does go over just a bit. So that certainly won't be a problem. Okay, so I have some tissue paper at the bottom. Got that one in. I'm going to add this little flat mail pocket. Uh, I'm going to stick this down there so that way this is level okay and I know that this fits in there perfectly I'm gonna add this one right there on top I have that really fun banner 
and then I have to make sure that there's enough room for the flip book because I'm not going to wrap that and everything so it is just going to have to stay on top so I'm, I think that will fit okay there and then if I lift this up just a little bit I have room for that on the side which I didn't really package this like or hide it I guess I could say just because I feel like the um, reused plastic packaging was enough so I have that one and this is my last one this one's pretty chunky because of the bow hopefully it can stay right there I might have to um, put this one in the corner actually I'm gonna add something underneath this one right here there we go. And the flip book on top and then this one yeah and that works good there's even just a little bit more room um, for some shred but I'm gonna do the shred on top of the tissue paper I think so now I'm just going to use this like light pink color So it is just a little bit bulgy where that um, <laughs> where that bow is. Sorry, if that word was kind of weird to describe that. I'm sorry if that made anybody uncomfortable. <laughs> so let me get some shred. So I think for this, I'm going to use some turquoise and some gold. All right, so I have some confetti here. And I'm still living off of these little um, tubes from Target from a few years ago. So throwback, if you guys are still, have, are still using these, let me know if you still have them so I know that I'm not alone. But they're just such fun colors, so I feel like they match anything that I use. It's Maggie Holmes. Then I'm gonna add some of these. And look at my method for resealing this. <laughs> I could probably get like a container for them or something. Um, that would definitely be smarter than how I'm doing it now. But, uh, I just don't think it would work in the way that I store all of my packaging stuff. I keep all of my packaging stuff together, so I just kind of go with what works. Alright, and then <laughs> staple the back shut again so that I can open it up next time. <laughs> And honestly, these don't like spill into my little box or anything. Like <laughs> the staples work pretty well. So you need some sort of um, weird closure. You can try using a stapler. So I'm just kind of moving all that all around. I'm gonna make sure that the lid fits on there. This was a box that my boyfriend brought home. They brought um, cupcakes to his work, um, so he knew that I would want this pink box, and he was correct. So I'm just going to decorate the top. I'll probably do that off camera. And then the last thing that I have to do is just add on the card on the inside. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got some motivation for um, decorating your own packages and outgoing mail. Hope that you enjoyed watching this. Please subscribe if you did. It really helps me and supports my channel. And yeah, I'll make sure to link everything that I mentioned down below as well as Louise's Instagram. Make sure to hop over there and um, follow her on Instagram because she's super talented. Thanks for watching. Bye.